yourself. You're not only the performer in your little theater, but you're also the audience. When you think a thought, do you go, wow, cool? Or do you go, hmm? When you're performing in front of an audience, it's known to everyone that's ever done it. If you have a super receptive audience, stuff just flows. If you have a very resistive audience, the stuff comes out a bit cranky. Same thing. You are both the performer and the audience in your world. You are the yin and the yang, the projecting and the receiving. For all of those who are in teacher training, I said yesterday, don't be sorry when your phone goes off. <laughs> because mine will too. I can't turn it off. This is my iPad. Off. <laughs> you got to get the vowels right. Yeah? At least you have the consonants right. So your voice each morning. And all day long, but really important in the morning, when you wake up, how do you greet your performer and your audience? Do you have a sympathetic relationship? Do you have an empathetic relationship? Do you have a compassionate relationship? And that is the purpose of <coughs> yoga in the morning, the sadhana, is to train and retrain and then train so that when you get up in the morning, you actually get the immune system turned on. <coughs> they did a test out at Loma Linda University on the immune system and input, not input through the mouth, input through the ears and the eyes. One group did nothing. They just were in a room and they took little blood drops every 10 minutes. And this thing went on for a couple of days, about 48 hours. So they didn't take a lot of blood every 10 minutes. Otherwise, well, that immune study uh, killed them. <laughs> Won't do that again. So they take a drop of blood every 10 minutes. And the, and, and the baseline group, just sat in a room and talked and did whatever they did, but they didn't have any external input. Group A had CNN running in the room, and it's 24-hour news. You know? And the other group, group B, had Laurel and Hardy, you know, just slapstick comedy. Meaningless, stupid, slapstick stuff that if you're too serious, you won't laugh at. But after 48 hours, you figure you're better. <laughs> this group's immune count, based on the white blood cells, was just multiples higher than the baseline. And the CNN group was about 20% below the baseline. So what do you take in? What do you put in via what you consider to be external sources, but also via the source of your own performer, your own thoughts, your own words, your own attitudes, your own opinions? Yogi Bhajan would say, fake it until you make it. You must actually be phony if you want to ultimately become healthy. You must fake it. You must say, oh, this is really wonderful. <laughs> over and over and over and over. I had a great example of this when I was 23 years old. Jules Boutier, who owned 
the antique store on the corner of Melrose and Robertson, who said to Yogi Bhajan, come teach in my antique store. And I was coming to class 